side of the story. And I know that was really part of the intentionality of this. Yeah, we um, uh, spent about three, four years consulting all the different tribes that were uh, represented in, that, in this battle. So this is one of the few battles of all the land wars where there was over 12 different tribes represented. Um, so we had to travel around quite a bit of the North Island um, to talk with all of them. Um, and also the descendants of many of those ancestors. We got the permission and the support to make this film to tell their story. And we, part of it is the director, Mike Jonathan, um, his great, great, great grandmother, Ngahoka, um, was in the battle, along with his great, great, great grandfather who died in that battle. And um, it was from that starting point that we had connections to this battle to say we should, we'd like to tell the story that we got the trust as a first, first point. And then we um, explained what we're trying to do, which was to tell their story. So in going around um, those, that, all that time, our writer Tim Worrell, he um, was well read, but um, we learned a lot from talking to each one of them, especially the descendants, because they had stories that um, were not um, written down. So Māori have an oral um, culture. We pass down through our language, through our songs. We don't have written word. Um, and so you just can't read about this stuff. So it was with their permission and their support that they gave us everything they knew about their ancestors to add to this. And so we then went about um, writing the script and then getting them all to have a read before, um, which, is un which is not the normal practice of making a feature film. You keep the script quite uh, locked down. This we had to put out far and wide to them to ensure that they knew exactly what we were saying and telling and they supported us. And we learned a lot along the process. That said, um, this will be the first feature film that tells about past from a, our perspective in our language. This is, um, I guess, the most Māori language in any feature film in the history of feature films. And so um, this is the first step into our light as an Indigenous, as Māori, um, to tell our stories the way in which we want to portray it. And so what you see there is really an interpretation of how we see the past now, how we feel about our past now. And so um, a part of our journey in getting this out was to ensure that when we play this out, we have um, support of our tribes and the descendants. And certainly we um, got that at the um, premiere. We had over 1,200 people there, um, which was a lot for one premiere. And the, I guess for us, that was a sign of success um, because for us, the box office is important, but most importantly is to have our own accept it. Um, and they have really um, come out strongly to say how much they um, enjoyed the film and how much it means to them. So there's a lot more to this than just um, being a film that's got real purpose and meaning for our people.